this man, Shalom Komei, who was the head of the American Jewish Committee, a uh, mainstream Jewish organization. And at that time, when Kahana uh, finally died, you know, he eulogized Kahana and saying, well, Mayor Kahana must always be remembered for the slogan, never again. And what is meant by this? By this he means, you know, that the Holocaust should never happen again. So invoking the Holocaust uh, is, you know, the right and privilege of Mayor Kahana, and for this he should be remembered. Now, well, how did he do it? Literally at every single event, no matter what the campaign was, never again. Jewish Defense League, never again, never again, never again. It didn't matter what the cause was or if it had anything even remotely to do with the Holocaust or even approaching that level of horror. So, I mean, to ridiculous lengths. So here's Jesse Jackson, you know, the first African-American man to run for president of the U.S. No, Jackson is a black Nazi. Jackson is a Jew hater, according to the Jewish Defense League. You know, Vanessa Redgrave, the actress, because she stood up to the Kahanist. No, Redgrave, Arafat, Hitler, there's no difference. No worries, take care, thanks for coming out. You know, I mean, it got so disgusting that even when the JDL would be fundraising, trying to raise money for its own activities, even then they had the audacity to use this image, uh, this you know, picture of a young boy uh, in Nazi Germany being accosted by the Gestapo. And, and don't let it be in vain. Please give. Give as though people's lives depended on it. So, you know, guilting people into, oh, give us money because of the Holocaust is imminent. That's why you should give us money, because of the Holocaust. Really, um, such chutzpah. Of course, that same American Jewish committee, you know, when young Jews today, progressive Jews, are invoking that term never again to talk about the detention centers into which the U.S. government is rounding asylum seekers, saying never again means never again to anyone, not just us. You know, then the American Jewish committee is like, oh, how could they? This is gross, you know, usage of the term, and they shouldn't be using it, and how dare they use it? Okay, you know, for Kahana, it's fine. If you're right-wing and using it to ramp up fear amongst Jews, you know, to close ranks within the community, then it's all good. But when left-wing use it to actually demand an end to concentration camps on U.S. soil, then it's a problem. Of course, no big shock from the AJC when there were actual Nazis on the streets of America, what did they do? How did they respond when, you know, here's George Washington. There used to be actual Nazis, and well, now they're coming back. But, but back when, you know, the, the first round, when Nazis were actually marching in the streets, and they actually had enough support to fill Madison Square Gardens in New York City. This is a Nazi rally, right? And, and at that time, the head of the American Jewish Committee wrote to the owner of Madison Square Gardens, no, 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 don't shut it down. Give them their say. Allow them to, you know, free speech and all, you know, they should have a platform as well. So really, with, with your checkered history, I, I really think that the AJC should uh, sit this one out when it comes to responding to Nazi threats and, and who has the right to invoke the memory of never again. But in any case, you know, I, it is fair to, to say that the Kahanists did stand up to real live Nazis. You know, uh, it wasn't just in, in, uh, in word, but also in deeds. So they would actually send bombs to the heads of the U.S. Nazi party. You know, they didn't always explode, but they would send them. And uh, not, not only would they, you know, confront the, 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 the leaders of the Nazi party, but, you know, think of at that time, we actually have Nazis uh, organizing marches in the streets of the, of the United States. This is, uh, at that time a guy who, who organizes a white power rally, and of course you need to fill out a form, submit it to Philadelphia City Hall in order to get a permit, right? So, so he writes there, you know, for the, what's the reason for the, for the demo, for the demonstration? Well, it's going to be a white power rally to show to white masses the unity of the white race and that N-word and Jews are cowards. And uh, you know, what, what signs are you going to have at the demonstration? Oh, we're going to have signs that say, gas, commie, Jews, and Hitler was right. So he submits the paperwork, and of course, in response, the, the Jewish Defense League, you know, is like, all right, well, we're going to get this guy. We're going to show him what's what. We're going to confront them in the streets of Philadelphia. We're not going to allow this to pass. Sounds good, right? Until 
you find that the head of the Jewish Defense League in Philadelphia was the same guy who organized the Nazi rally, Mordechai Levy. He just did it under another name, under a pseudonym, but he actually organized that Nazi rally. Why would he do that? Why would the head of the Jewish Defense League organize a white supremacist rally? Well, again, as I've been explaining to you, it's about that anti-diasporism that is the third plank of the Kahana's platform, meaning, well, in Kahana's own words, you know, he said, we want all of our kids to go to Israel. There is no future for the Jews in America. There's only one thing that will bring Jews over to Israel in any large scale from any Western country, anti-Semitism. And of course, if there's not enough of it, then he would have to create it. 